It's our first full day in Seoul and this is our very first meal here. It's not Korean food but actually Japanese curry. I got mine with potato croquettes and it was so good. It looks like real wasabi that they grate. It is really pungent. Ooh. Got a ton of stuff from 7 Eleven. We went a little bit overboard. I got some banana milk, which I've never tried, but I've heard good things. We got a sandwich, some dried squid or fish thing, three <laughs> instant noodles, chips, and a bento box. Obviously, the guy there knew that we were foreigners, and so he helped us microwave the box because we didn't really know what we were doing. <laughs> It tastes a bit too much like artificial banana. Mm, I don't know. Right. Meh. Premium ham sandwich, more moist, uh, according to the packaging. No crust. Ooh, no crust, so fancy. <laughs> it looks moist. Yeah, it's not bad. Mmm, it smells really good. It's like a miso pork. This thing's pretty good. I'm gonna make some cup noodles. I got some kimchi too to put in it and baked eggs. I think I'm just gonna dump everything in. I don't really know what I'm doing, so. Ooh, look at that. What is that? I think it's just like a bunch of dehydrated vegetables and then maybe like some dehydrated whatever that looks kind of like seafood. The seasoning packet and then we're gonna go and pour some hot water in it. Close it up. Oh look! Wait, why is it seasoned inside? This is strange. Let's hope it is what I think it is. It's a yogurt drink. It said, it said fermented milk when I translated it. Yeah, it is yogurt milk. Yum, 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 yum. Mm -hmm. Lots of sugar. Oh, it smells very seafoody. Oof. Yum. What do you think? It's good. I knew this one was not spicy, so then I wanted to add some kimchi to give it a bit of a, you know, acid. And you taste the seafood? It's, sure. We can just eat all 7-Eleven stuff this entire trip. No. <laughs> just because we're jet lagged and we are eating things at weird hours, so it's very convenient to have a convenience store. And it's still dark out, and we're up to go on a tour of the DMZ. We're at Imjungak. It is a park that commemorates the Korean War. In addition to the casualties and violence of war itself, it is a sad reminder of the history that separated many families. You can see all the bullet holes on this train. It was supposed to bring military supplies to the UN forces, but the US feared that the North Koreans would capture the train, so they destroyed it. Now for the rest of the tour, we were not allowed to use our camera for most of the sites, so see you later. <laughs> We are at the National Museum of Korea and it's extremely big. Oh, 
Today we are at Gunnam and we're having lunch at Kyochang, which is a fried chicken chain in Korea. When in Korea, you have to have Korean fried chicken. Oh, these are good wedges. Mmm, it's so crunchy. It's hot. This is the soy one. It's not spicy. We got two versions, one spicy, one's not. It's really good, but maybe we should have gone all spicy. Spicy! It's got a kick. We're at Baskin Robbins for dessert, and this one has a hundred different flavors. A lot of them are kind of weird and gimmicky, but we got a sampler, so we get to pick ten flavors. I will have the matcha. We're having Korean Chinese food. This is jajangmyeon with seafood. We also got some deep fried pork with sweet and sour sauce on the side, which is a classic combo with this noodle dish.
Oh my god, it's so good. It's a taiyaki. The fish waffles, but it's made from croissant. Well, not croissant, but laminated dough. It's so buttery, it's so good. So fishy. Got some takoyaki. It's gonna sploosh in my mouth and burn me. <laughs> it's gonna burn you. You can't chew with your mouth closed or else you burn yourself. You gotta yeah. air it out. <laughs> 